So ease in and ease out are really important principles in animation. And if you don't have a plugin, it can be tedious to create that effect just manually in the graph editor. Um, but one way to to make it nice and clean and create an ease in ease out effect um, is a shortcut that you can use down here in the time slider. So I'm going to show you how. We're just going to have our arm uh, go from raised and then to down. So at zero here, I'm going to put an S on the keyboard and that will give keyframes. Um, I've got her controller still selected. I'm going to swoop it down. This is very, very rough. I'm not, if I were animating this, I would spend a lot of time trying to make it look good, but we're just showing it for an example. So uh, that'll do. At 26 um, S, I have auto keyframe on, but um, I have a habit of clicking S anyway. And now you'll see how her arm moves at kind of a consistent pace throughout the up and down motion. And if we open up the uh, graph editor, you could see it's a, you could see the consistency here. It's, there's not um, variation in that curve. So now if we create a keyframe in the middle between these two keyframes, if you had keyframes one to four and you know, you could create one on two, it's the same thing. You're going to create one just kind of in the middle of whatever numbers you're using. And so I'm going to put an S Let's look at that, um, uh, the graph editor again. And it's just what it was before with a new keyframe. So I'm gonna pull that to the side for now. And we're going to steal, we want it to ease in. I mean, uh, silly, ease out, cause I'm gonna hold it up. So we're gonna ease out of that. So I'm gonna want it to stay up longer and then go down fast. And to do that, I'm gonna to have to steal one of these keyframes in between the first two here, uh, between the middle and the first. And I think maybe three or four is good. Um, so let's take four. What you do is you just put your mouse on the time slider and you only click your middle mouse button once. Click, take it off, hold it over the keyframe you want. Don't click anything yet and then only click that middle mouse button again. Now you'll see that it's in that position that it was in for the keyframe four. On your keyboard, press S to lock in that pose, and you'll see that now you have stolen a keyframe from a different location and moved it to where you wanted it. Um, and that really helps with getting that visualization uh, in the viewport um, for ease in and ease out, which is cool. I, there are um, plugins that help you do this, like Tween Machine, but I actually really like seeing it before I do it and getting to pick the keyframe in advance. So I think this is um, just as good of a method. And I'll show you guys the graph editor. You can see now we have more of a um, ease out going on as the curve is flat here and then moves down more rapidly here. Of course, you would clean it up a bit uh, after you set these keyframes, but it's already looking like more natural and that's what you want. So, boom. Boom, love it. And yeah, you would apply that principle to all of the uh, controllers and um, it is really cool. You'll also use it for easing uh, into things and uh, for holding poses and it's just, um, yeah, it's a good little little technique. And if you don't get it on the first try, try it again and again. It took me like 10 tries before I got used to it. So uh, just remember that middle bounce button is all you need and you're golden. All right. Thanks, guys.